Okay, I'm gonna have a look at question three of the practical exam, which is the OOP. It's paper one, practical exam. Question three is the OOP. Okay, so question three, you will have two units. Okay, so you must remember that you will have two units and that your second unit will probably have the class already almost completed okay, and after your session when you print your coding you must remember that you must print both units okay, the main unit and the class unit of question 3 okay, I'm going to start off by opening the class unit of every question paper okay, so 2018 we had a class T restaurant three fields private fields we had uh, public methods constructor create we had a two string function we had a get number of employees a compile code function and the procedure increase employees let's look at this one it was a transaction clause with these four fields a normal constructor with some parameters function get amount procedure update function calculate cost and function to string okay so both question papers had a constructor with property uh, with uh, parameters and a two string both had a accessor method like get employees get amount paid they had something like increase which is a mutator procedure this one we had a update which is a mutator method so we need to change something in the fields over here the two string both will be to display content out of that class let's have a look at this last one t hiking trail again a constructor with some parameters probably to assign default values like trail name is terrain type stuff like that we had a get again access a method get so that one is in all three classes a calculate to determine and a calculate so we have three mutators over here and then we have a two string method here okay. with this great we only needed to assign values to our fields with this great we needed to receive values from the user to assign values and uh, if amount paid is actually um, not received it's just set to zero because you don't need to send it zero this constructor receives the values from the main unit and then assigns it to the field so the constructor is basically the same for all three uh, question papers let's move on here's my access a method just to get values and send them back here's another accessor get the value or the field from this class and send it back here's this access a method get a field from this class again and send it back Okay, so you can expect a accessor method definitely so you can practice to code that one not very complicated now we're going to the mutator methods like the increase or the update or the calculate okay so in these mutator methods you can also always have a small calculation okay look at this determine level Again, it's a small calculation that you must be able to calculate and then you will 
send back those values we calculate we're sending something back okay compile code calculate something send it back okay the two string usually um, they will ask you to combine some strings convert maybe a cost put it in a nice format and then send it back to your main unit okay so two string you can definitely expect that we have to add some strings again make it neat send it back again add some strings make it neat format and then send it back remember the hashtag 13 is the enter key so that it will be in different lines or the hashtag 10 is also will also work for the enter key to make it neat to be able to display it somewhere okay, let's go to the main unit in the main unit you must remember to add the class unit under the users okay, in this case it was restaurant in this case it was transaction you remember you can either add it on top or you can add it over here i think it's just easier to add it there if it's not added automatically for you or already given to you in the question paper okay this question today i don't think it will display the users for us no it's, it doesn't display the users okay but it will be there on top um, you need to declare a new object according to that class okay, so a new object obj transaction according to the t transaction class and then you need to create your object according to this class so in this case it will be object restaurant is equals to t restaurant dot create and then the values that you want to send to your create constructor okay after you've done that this one you need to call your two string okay so you will note that in all three question papers you will need to call the create constructor and that's most of the time very similar it's only the parameters that can change inside your constructor so it's called in this question paper it was called in this one as well and it will be definitely be called in this one over here you call that constructor great and you send those values to your class okay and then you most important thing is that you must remember that all those methods that was declared in unit the class unit must be called at some stage okay so we already called the constructor create and you need to call all the others as well at some stage so over here how do we call a method we say object name dot and then the method name in this case it's two string two string is a function and it's going to send something back back and in this case is being displayed in a rich edit so let's have a look at this question paper the two string it's called object name dot then the function name and it's also displayed in a rich edit okay so they are very similar let's look at this one again it's a rich edit they call the function object name dot two string so you know that there's going to be a two string and you will need to display that content somewhere and in all three cases here it was in a rich edit and then you need to call the other functions as well compile code was called 
get employees it's actually called so all those functions will be called there might be some small coding that you need to add here and there but the basic layout is that your class will be given to you I expect your class I don't expect them to let you create a whole class from scratch and then you will only need to complete some of the methods and then you need to code those methods okay great will only assign the values the get will send values you will do some calculations and you will definitely have a two string where you need to make everything neat to be sent back and then in your main unit you must remember to add your unit your class unit you need to declare your object according to that class and then you need to call all your methods that were in the class unit it's the great the constructor you need to call this two string and then you need to read your question paper to make sure where you need to call these functions and then you might have some additional coding to be done okay, so i don't think there's a lot of thinking or the question is that complex the format is quite um, the same every year it's your class finish some of the methods add the users uh, create your object and then just call all your methods that were created in your class unit